Okay. Let me say this one time, that one time. You make me feel alright. So nice. I know you wanna do it. Good morning, guys. It is Friday morning. Welcome to Friday. Well, I don't know what day you guys are gonna be watching this. However, I just got up not too long ago and I figured it's time to wash my hair because I haven't washed it in a few days. As I always say, every time like if I'm at work, I'm like, eh, I'll wash it on my day off. And then the day off is finally today. I actually haven't vlogged since my sister and I came back, which was actually last Friday. Yeah, we got back last Friday. I got back. I was so, so sick. I mean, you guys will watch the, that vlog before you guys see this anyway. I don't know how much like I recorded of myself being sick um, when we were there. And I think I also mentioned it in one of the earlier vlogs because I, I needed to do an intro. So I shared with you guys. But like I was sick, sick, like my body was down and out sick. And I had to take like two days off work because I just, I couldn't. Like my body just, it wouldn't go. Like it just, I couldn't get off the couch. But then my back was so, so sore. And I was just like, on the third day, like I was still nasally sniffly and all that. But my body was getting there and I was like, I've got to go to work. I can't. Like I just, my back was too sore from sitting on the couch and you know what I really enjoy my job so I like being there I know it's sad and people at work always say oh you're still new but I'm like it's nearly been like six months and I mean I still that is still new but I do still really enjoy it and I like being there and mainly because like I like all the people I work with I work with really great people and they're fun and we're all like different ages genders and whatever and it's actually really quite fun and majority of the time people are nice too I mean, majority, let's say, here and there you do get people who are not the nicest to you for something that's not your fault. But apart from that, it's pretty good. I did use that purple shampoo in my hair today, that Fenola one that I've had for years. I think I have maybe one more go left because I just noticed my hair was getting really brassy and yellow. And I was like, oh, this is not what I want. And then I looked through, I was looking for a picture... I don't know if I was looking for a picture of Chippy or something. And I saw my hair when it was brownier and I was like... Wasn't this the colour I was going for? And somehow I always make my way back to Blondie. I think because we are going to Europe. And then I was like, okay, uh, I don't mind being a little bit lighter for Europe. And now I'm like, no, I want next time I do my hair, I want to go back to that like brownie. It was like a natural sort of shade. It was like a Blondie brownie. I really, really like that. So I'm hoping to go back to that. I am going to let it air dry for a little bit so my hair doesn't get too so blow drying it. Uh, maybe we'll make some breakfast. I really don't have like any food. My mum got me some eggs. As I said, I was so sick so I didn't leave the house and whatever I ate, I ate like crumbs and leftovers and whatever I had. And I just have not had a chance to go to the supermarket and then I figured today's my day off I was going to go but then we normally go on Saturday. So I'll just confirm with my sister we're going tomorrow and then I'll do my supermarket shopping with them. If not, I'll go ahead and do today because I've got a whole long list of things that I definitely need. Including a new box of tissues. <laughs> But anyways, welcome to the vlog. I've got this pimple that I just put a patch on here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm thinking of doing all my makeup and just still leaving this patch on. My period's literally just finished and this guy decided to come now. That also didn't help, being sick and having a period. Oh, but you know, you deal with it. And then this guy was like, you know what? Let, let's join the club now. So I figure, because I keep touching it, <laughs> I'll leave the patch on. No need to be lonely. Let me take you on this ride, no need to be shy, girl We in the end, it's an option But wouldn't it be sad if we left us? We got chemistry I know we can all see the elephant in the room And by that I mean the Christmas tree still up as I said, I was ill, so I couldn't take it down. And then I've been working the rest of this week. So we are going to do that today, definitely. We're getting it down because it is way, it's like, what's today? The 19th of Jan. It's way, way past all Christmases and New Year's. However, when's the Chinese New Year? I just made my egg toast, sandwiched uh, cheese in between my two egg whites, my favorite. I made my coffee. I think I did I share with you guys. Yeah, I did that. I got the vanilla Starbucks flavored coffee. I really like that. I'm out of sugar, so I'm glad that that has a bit of flavor because I do like sugar in my coffee. So I'm glad that vanilla taste feels like there's sugar in there. Although normally I would still put a bit of sugar in here, but 
as I said, I'm out of so many things. Also, I like to take my morning vitamins. Like, I, I like to take all my vitamins in the morning. So, I thought I'll share with you guys the ones I'm taking now. I don't know if that matters or not. But just in case, if you're nosy, I want to know. Recently, actually, I got these from Sunshine Coast. I got some magnesium tablets. Um, my mum told me that these are really good. They help with muscle cramps and mouth spasms, as it says here. So... I've also heard magnesium is really good. I'm not someone who takes baths, so I'm not going to take like a magnesium bath. So I'm going to take that orally. My sup, if you are a member that's been here a while, I, this is one of my favorites. Like the collagen ones to take. I like this because it's just one. I literally just love things. I tr try and buy where you have to take one a day. Uh, this is for hair, skin, and nails. I found last time when I was taking it, I really liked it. I hadn't been taking it for a while there, especially when I wasn't really working. So I didn't have money to spend on any like, I guess I would consider these luxuries. And by not working, I mean, I, I was working the last year, but I've been really paying back a debt that I've nearly, nearly done paying back so I can finally feel like I'm a human again. And then I'm also taking my Jinko Bilo, but now look, this one does say three times a day, which I should have read before I bought it because literally I said I didn't like to take them once a day with breakfast. You know what I'm going to need to get? One of those like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday... I could have just said the word week <laughs> are things that you put your tablets in that way you can on like a Sunday you can put them all in there and then you're ready to go for the whole week instead of having all this lying around here but for now this is how we're doing it and these freaking magnesium ones are like ginormous I do also have the armor force which I share with you guys but that's not a daily thing that's only like now in a few weeks we're going on a cruise so I'll probably start taking those a few days before we go because I am not getting sick again Yep, we also have to get rid of the Christmas decorations in here too. I actually nearly finished doing my makeup. I was doing it all and then I realized I wanted to share with you guys the other Anastasia palette that I got for Christmas from Aneta. It's got purple in there and I thought, you know what? I'm wearing a bit of purple today. Let's try it out because I was actually saving it to try it with you guys and I thought, oh, let's do it together. Oh, you know what? This feels really nice. Actually, the Glam palette is like that too. It's kind of got like a velvety touch. The Soft Glam one, this one I've been using quite a bit. The colors are beautiful. They're nice neutral colors, which I've really liked. And this one is a little bit more darker, so I feel like they're a little bit more wintry shades. There's less shades than in the other one. However, there's some purple. So I thought, you know what? Let's, I really want to try out this purple one here. So I thought, you know what? Let's go. Well, actually, I can even definitely use the browns in here too. But as I said, I wanted to do it together. In comparison to the Soft Glam, actually, the shades are a lot uh, wider. I don't know if they're any deeper, but it's just, it's a little bit different of a palette. This one, also, this one also doesn't come with a brush. The other one did. All right, now, I really want to go in with that bright purpley one, but I don't know if it's going to be, like, too bright out there. But you know what? You just don't know until you try. We're going to do a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow, it's quite pigmented. And as I said, I haven't been doing too much color lately because I've really been just sticking to some neutrals. And you know what? Today's that day, so we're just we're not gonna overdo it. I do want to have a bit of a purple hue, which is what we're gonna go for. And you know what? Why not? Every now and then, it's nice to get a bit of color on those eyes. I kind of miss doing the big glam makeup. So many people have been doing just like the real soft, no eyeshadow kind of looks, where they just do. You know what? So many people are just paying to get their eyelashes done, their eyebrows done, everything done these days that they barely even have to put any makeup on. And that's why, what, in the last, like, two years or so, the makeup that's no makeup has been in where, especially the foundation, has been, like, really very minimal coverage, which doesn't work for me because I like to cover and I like to wear makeup. I always feel like if you're someone who enjoys makeup, you just enjoy putting it on. And you know what? And... As you guys have seen, it doesn't matter to me whether it's in fashion or not. I still do what I like to do. You know what's funny? I just actually saw on TikTok that uh, Mob Wife era is in. For me, Mob Wife era, well, what they call it that, was literally the 2000s. I mean, that's what I was wearing in the 2000s because it was what was in the shops. And my absolute favorite, I love wearing like jackets with the fur and the faux fur. You guys see that. I even bought myself faux fur 
like stuff to put as the top here and on my sleeves because I just love that look so much and it wasn't out in the stores and I like I've really wanted to wear that so I'm so excited if it's coming back in hopefully not just like in TikTok style I like think if he comes back in clothing wise oh that was one of my favorite even leopard skirts I still have a whole bunch of leopard skirts I didn't realize they weren't in. I don't know. I'm just one of those people who are like, I like what I like. And also I do prefer the fitted clothing. Flowy clothing has always been in. And I feel like in Australia, flowy clothing is in, especially in summer. But I'm so glad if all the like bodycon stuff comes back because that's my jam. I am smoking this out a little bit because I kind of like that look. And now I'm going to try out that purple because I do want to see how it's going to look on the eyes. Nice and shimmery. Oh, it's pretty. I don't even know if it works. Maybe I should have tried a brush. I usually always put shimmer on with my finger because I just feel like it just sticks better on. It goes on rather than it stays on the brush. That's really pretty. Can you guys see that? It has like a little iridescent glow when you kind of move your eye around. I like that. That's very pretty. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye. As I was saying, I think back then, okay, this is going back in the like 2000 era. I don't know if anyone is, I guess, my age or roughly around when Jersey Licious. Did anyone ever watch Jersey Licious? Like, I love that show. I was obsessed with that show and I just love their makeup. That's where I learned the smoky eye from them. Like, they used to always have the smoky eye, the big hair. Like, I always love that. I remember when I moved to New Jersey, I made my sister before I moved there. We went over to find the like salon from Jersey Licious. I was like so obsessed. And so, as I said, if that fashion is coming back, Back now I'm very excited I'm here for it you know what and I was literally saying to my friend Annetta because she also has a daughter I'm like you know what you have a daughter now so you can keep stuff because in 20 years time like now it all comes back and you know some of the stuff like I wished I still had it I probably would have still worn it over the years but like with time I guess you know what when you put on weight as well you're like I'm not gonna fit it this but you know what happens you end up keeping things you keep things keep things like say you keep it for 10 years and then you're like oh, this is just not in anymore and you get rid of it if you kept it for 10 more years it would have come back fashion always comes back although back in my early 20s I really didn't have that much money I used to just shop at like the cheapo stores so Nothing was really great quality to actually keep it for this long anyway. The makeup is done. The purple I like. Matchy matchy with the outfit. Just going to pop a bit of jewellery on and then we're dressed for the day. We're going to have to start looking for the boxes to put all the tree stuff in. We'll start with the tree over there. A little nonsense is what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me. Okay, the storage containers are out. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy anything new this year. I didn't even get a nutcracker. I mean, I really wanted a pink one and then I totally forgot to get one in general. And I did say this was the year that I was going to get myself a nutcracker and I didn't get one. So to next year is going to have to be the year. So the good thing is hopefully it all still fits back into here and then can be all put away. And what I had wanted to do was I actually wanted to move my couch over here but I may need to do that another time when I have people here to help me move the couch because I kind of just want to do a bit of a rejiggle of my living room area I feel like I really really base it off having a nice background for filming but I kind of want to make bring it back to being like homey again and just kind of living in my space which is the whole intention all right but we will fast forward through all of this because I'm going to listen to a podcast while we do it that's for sure Funny how you had the best of in the wardrobe where usually stays I am now sweating I do have to take I've got for example some extra baubles here that they're just like from years and years ago when my mum had like a different theme to her tree and sometimes I use these to pop them around the house so they're gonna go in the out the attic in the garage and I've just got a couple of things as well that I'm gonna send off there and probably also the lights because my mum did collect the lights from outside 
and I just don't have any room upstairs and the only place where I might have room is on the balcony but it, when it rains sometimes the rain comes in so I don't need things like lights getting wet and then I need to find a spot for my tree because a lot of my stuff used to stay you guys can see the hallway just in that corner there but like I've been trying to keep that clear because I'm hoping that that's going to be my new photo place which I kind of created it but then Christmas came along so so much junk everywhere and also this room here slowly slowly I might do a little bit of a rejig of here and the next room and over there so we'll see how we go but today I've got to pull out the vacuum cleaner because I've got to clean the mess back here and you know I haven't used it since that time I literally have not used it because I don't can't take it off the handle so my mum's been vacuuming up here and when I was away my mum decided to do like a bit of a clean up of some of the stuff up here she's a bit interesting in how she does her cleanings like me and her we tend to focus on different things like I'll focus on some things I guess that kind of maybe works for us because then you know everything ends up being clean but she actually threw out all my empties so so I had a bin in the bathroom and then I had like a, a paper bag full of like my empties that I had stashed in the corner and she left my bin with my rubbish and she threw out all of my empties and I can't remember what was in there but it was my new collection of things that I was going to talk about with you guys so I have to restart that again. I actually did get the vacuum cleaner to work but I forgot to hit record. I'm just going to wipe down now the table here and just some of the stuff that also had the like Christmas decorations so then I can put the regular stuff out. I mean, the, I haven't moved the tree back yet. I'm still in like, do I move stuff around mode or not? If I do, I will let you guys know. I would really love like one of those drink carts. I think they look so cute. Uh, however, they're quite pricey. So for now, my little get up that I had is going to have to work. Unless I put drinks on that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Okay, so a little bit of an update. I did pop the chair back because as I said, I'm thinking about what I'm doing with the couch. Mainly because I've been trying to get like couch covers, but I can't find any big enough and the style that I like. Also, I was thinking of changing up the artwork behind as I said, but for now we're just going to move things back to pretty much the way they were. However, I did end up popping the bottles here. I did like them over there, but you know what? We're just going to go with it here. I've did, let me just turn you guys around and show you. I ended up putting the table that's in my makeup room that's behind me. I just popped in this corner. So I've popped this here because the, I need a chair here. <laughs> I got rid of that orange one and I figured this table is just... Also, if I ever want to film anything cooking, I can just move this table up, which is great. And then I've moved Chippy's bowl under here so then it doesn't get in my way in my kitchen and his toys as well. Okay, so for now, things are pretty much back to normal there. The wall does look a little bare. I'm still thinking about what pictures, whether I'm going to bring back the old ones or not. So maybe on Sunday I'll do a little bit more thinking. Hello little munchkin. You're a little cutie pie. Hello. Chippy just got back from his walk. He's so cute. On my way to, on our way to my sister's Chippy. Well, he literally was we're doing good. I've got the aircon on because it's kind of hot. You know, when you first get in the car when it's summer, it's hot. And now he's like, I want to go out the window. And I'm like, hold on, Chip. I just turned the camera on, didn't I, mummy? You're such a cutie. Usually, like, he wants to go out the window a little bit. And then when I start driving, he, like, more than, like, 50 or 60 k's, he's like, no, thank you. Which is great. I'm so glad he's just one of, he's a scaredy cat. And I love it. You know what? It's great that it's summer because it's daytime. You know what? I realized I forgot to have lunch today. So I'm starving. So I do hope my sister has something good for dinner because I am so hungry. I had some fruit because I quickly stopped off at the supermarket the other day and I was craving fruit, right? Lye cheese or lee cheese, whatever they call it. Like I love them so much. But they are so expensive. And I literally like picked up a box and it was $12 and I was like I just can't justify $12 for like a handful of light cheese and I really want them so I'll think about it again tomorrow maybe at the fruit shop they might be a bit cheaper because now is like the season they're just so nice but I did have I got cherries strawberries are like two dollars and blueberries so i grabbed heaps of those and i've been having those and just is maybe maybe because i was sick and i felt like i really needed nutrients and just eating fruit has just like really made me feel nice and fresh and great so let me know what is your guys's favorite fruit i think i would like i don't even know what my favorite would be like maybe a banana like something simple like that 
However, I do love the tartness of like a pineapple. I like water. Okay, this is not a Stansy name. All the fruits that you like. Right, we're about to get near a traffic light, which then I know Chippy likes to open the window when we're stopped. So I will chat to you guys when we get to my sister's place. Oh, yesterday I filled up with petrol, so I'm full of petrol. I don't need to stop anywhere. What a great day. Well, this lady has a lovely cat. Made it to my sister's place. They are watching tennis. The Australian Open is on. Let me know, are you guys watching the Australian Open? If so, who do you go for? It is also dinner time. You guys haven't seen Angus in a while, actually. How's it going? Because oh, we went on the holiday and then I was sick. And then, did I record no. the other then day? Was, then you were for sick. For the muzzing, no, I was sick. <laughs> and then, so Sonia made fish. We're going to have fish tacos. There's Sonia. We are also having this, what is it, Mishka? Mixed a vodka, tropical pineapple lime as well. And Sonia made, would you say sour cream and sriracha? Mm -hmm. Do you think it needs more sriracha in there? I don't know. We'll, we'll try, try it and see. And then we have Mr. Mr. Chippy. Hello. Happy Saturday, guys. It is the next day, and I just got back from the supermarket shopping with my sister and Angus. I was at work super early this morning. I started at 4:30, but it was a short day, so I finished over at 10:30. And I'm a little. It's catching up to me a little bit. I feel like I need a nap. But we did go to the supermarket, so I actually did a big shop today. Because I actually haven't gone in quite a while, like since before we went away with my sister. So I thought I'd share some of the stuff that I got. I got some spinach, some pasta. I feel like I don't need pasta that much anymore, but yeah, I like having it. I got these kombucha drinks. Now these are guava and lychee, and I just like, I love lychee or lychee. And these are the ones that were on sale. They're like six bucks for four, so I'm going to pop them in the fridge and I might have one maybe tomorrow. I was out of cooking spray, so I grabbed one of these. I got these bars. I love these. They're the oat slices. This flavor, the golden oat and coconut, I love it. It's a great snack, especially for like a morning if you don't really want like a huge breakfast. When I'm at work, I really like these. I got a popcorn. Sometimes I want something salty, and I figured, you know what, it's good. I can make it because I like warm popcorn. I got my favorite cookies, and in the chocolate orange, of course, my favorite. I was feeling like some lollies. So I got teeth. I'm, I do like the mixed ones, but I don't like the like jelly babies and snakes. So I figured I'll get teeth. You know the teeth, do you feel like they have a bit of like peppermint flavor to them? Well, that's what I think anyway, so I like those. Oh, it says vanilla mint flavored. I've never even thought to read to see what the flavor is. Ran out of sugar, so I got myself one of these. It's always cheaper to buy like in bulk and I'm just going to pop it in my little jar but I might do that either later or tomorrow because i just got to sort my kitchen out. Uh, Chip is nearly out of these so I end up getting the jumbo pack so then this could last him a while. I got a few of the sponges because my mum broke. So I do like this pink one. It's not as like rough on your dishes and it's nice and soft so I like it. And I did get a rice just for backup for myself or for chip. I got some green onions because I just like to eat those with everything. I got some white bread because, you know, toast, whatever. I got some grapes, strawberries mushrooms. I don't know if I was telling you guys about the lychees. I ended up just getting like a handful of lychees. I might have some now because I'm excited to try them. They were like two bucks for these. I probably could have got more. They're like twenty dollars a kilo but like I just really wanted some. An avocado, some broccoli, some apricots, garlic sauce, my little bell peppers. I love the little ones and mainly because they come in like orange and yellow which is my favorite. A sour cream. I ended up getting oat milk from all the like non-dairy milks. I like the oat one. Like I just feel like it, the flavor is not intense and I could definitely have it with coffee. And I reckon I could have it with cereal, although not that I have any cereal to have it with. I got these zoodles that were on sale, so I figured oh, I can get some because I could probably make like a pasta tomorrow. One yogurt and some carrots and that is everything. I probably should have got a napkin. I thought we'll have one of these together. And if you have never ever had one of these, they are white. You know what? They kind of remind me of a grape a little bit. Just like the texture of it is like a grape. So it looks like this. And it's got this jumbo seed inside. But they're so sweet and so nice. I think I'm going to have all five. All the batteries dying. from my 
sister's place. Uh, not that I recorded, I did bring you guys along, but I kind of didn't really have opportunity to bring out the camera and I didn't or I thought I haven't really recorded anything here and I just felt, I always feel so invasive just popping the camera up in their face. So literally we just hung around, chatted a little bit. Now I've come home, it is dark now, however, I've been watching the tennis and I always like to like do a little something besides being on my phone whilst I'm watching the tennis. And I have these glasses, like they're, what are they, martini glass? I've had them for so long, I just don't use them. I feel like there's not enough in here for drinking. And this one I think has a little chip on it. So it's not one that I could really give to gifts. So what I was thinking was seeing as like Valentine's Day is coming up and I don't know, can you guys see, I've got the light on covering the viewfinder so I can't really see what's going on. But where I put the drinks, I put two of these glasses like behind and I thought what if I've put out all of my paints here and I thought what if I painted like some hearts or something on the glasses so then like just on the outside so then they can look like cute there as like decor i was thinking pink and well i do have like this lavender color which goes as well because i love like a lavender but i do have a pink here do i have anything sparkly i've got some white as well i hope they haven't dried up because i haven't used my paints in ages i do have my brush set that i keep under the sink but I was thinking maybe a smaller brush, something like that, because I think the rest are a bit bigger. And if I just did maybe some hearts, just like, oh, this one's a little bit bigger. I don't think I have a smaller brush, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I wonder, you know, sometimes like you could do like a stampy thingy. Now I'm going to try and paint it. We shall see. Also, I'm still collecting the like toilet paper rolls because I'm still going to try and do as many of these as I possibly can because I just thought they turned out so cool. The thing is, I had a few collected, but whilst I was away, my mum threw out the toilet paper rolls because granted, she, I'm sure she must have thought I was the biggest grub out just leaving like toilet paper rolls around, but I was actually collecting so I could do more of these because I thought if I had like a lot, lots of them and then when Christmas comes around next year, I can do more like on the wall of these. So like... I've still got this one and then like I did start another one so I've got like another a couple of rolls so I might even do a few of those tonight as well so I figured I'm gonna go do a bit of this and then wait this looks purple no it's pink and I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like I'm gonna try a little bit here I mean I know you meant to then put something on the glass so then like it stays but if I don't actually use these or even if I do oh this is terrible I always say this, my head is full of ideas, but my execution is never the best. All right, let me think about it and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, well, the hearts weren't working, so I went with polka dots. So I went with pink, white, and kind of like a darker pink. I think from far, I'm looking in the viewfinder, doesn't look too, too bad. I mean, when I pop it over there, you'll see a bit of color. I mean, I'm, look, I'm probably supposed to use proper paints that go on glass. Sansie just uses what she has because this isn't, isn't that how we do things. So it's okay. It, it's definitely not what I pictured in my head, but it'll do. It's okay. I popped the glass then. It doesn't look too bad. However, I am going to end the vlog here, guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.